I started in real estate with absolutely nothing, no dollars. I actually had to borrow money from my mom to get started when I was 22 years old. And I, I will say a lot of us as agents, I think we take one thing for granted and that's time. We feel like joining a, the industry and working for a particular broker, it's going to um, allow us to, to free ourselves up and, and uh, have all the time in the world and create our own schedule and all that. That's all true to a certain point. Um, I think the most successful agents out there are actually really truly dedicating themselves every single day to doing the things that are going to be conducive to success. And I feel in real estate, I've seen too many stories with agents that have joined the industry and then they leave and they leave because of false expectations. The expectations that they have are not matching with what it actually takes to be successful. And for me, what allowed us to grow the company and become one of the fastest growing privately owned companies in America on the Inc. 500 list was really, really taking advantage of time and not taking it for granted and always having a sense of urgency in place when it, uh, when it came down to doing business, to getting up every day. It was an urgent situation that I had to convince myself and, and make myself feel like there's no tomorrow. Like there's no tomorrow when it comes to these clients and these people that are in inquiring about property or that want to reach out to you. I want to give you an example. And this takes it even a step beyond working directly with clients. What I did starting out was I moved into an, an area. I moved to San Francisco and didn't know a single person. I moved from a small town, Modesto, California, very small agricultural town, a uh, great place. I still have lots of connections there. Love that city. Love the people there. In fact, we, we, a lot of the people that we hire now on our staff are all from Modesto just because I have such a great, such a great connection with people from there. But we moved, I moved to San Francisco and I didn't know a single person, right? The reason I moved there was because the market crashed, so on and so forth. I ended up there uh, by choice because I felt like the industry wasn't uh, going there or the, my business wasn't going in the direction that I, I wanted it to go. So I took, I made an, I took a step, I took action, right? So Moving there, what it, what it allowed me to do was create a no uh, option situation. The no option situation was I had to make decisions fast. I had to be, become, um, get traction fast. Okay. So how did I do that? Um, two ways. The first way was I had to level the, the playing field with other top agents in the area. And the way that I was able to do that very easily was by going online very simply and either buying leads online or you can, well, you can we got free access to, to leads as well. You can buy, um, well, it wasn't necessarily completely free, but very, very, very inexpensively. You can buy lists of expireds. You could buy lists of homeowners and, um, and, and start reaching out to them. So one of the things that we don't have start, starting out is we don't usually have a lot of money, but we have a lot of time. So I took advantage of that time and created a sense of, and there was a sense of urgency because I had to be successful. Otherwise I was going back, going back to Modesto. And I didn't want to do that living in San Francisco. And so, um, no, there was no tomorrow. There was constant grind going on every single day. And there's a lot of people out there that will tell you, that you need to focus on this or you need to focus on that. This is a, you have to be focused on this one particular, you know, um, property type or client type or neighborhood or this or that. Look, starting out, that's not an option. Okay. That's not an option. And if you just focus on one area, starting out in the beginning of your career, you're going to be find It's going to be very difficult to be successful. And you know, there are ways you can do it. I'm not saying it's not possible. If you work with a mentor, if you have a certain team leader or you're getting leads or, you know, you have a, uh, also very importantly, have a cushion of, of, of fin financially that you can, you can survive for a period of time. But if you're going to go to a brand new area, let's say brand new agent, um, and you want to start focusing on just one thing, you're, you're leaving opportunity on the table. Okay. So what I say, what I did, and this is what allowed us to be successful fast was I, I took advantage of every opportunity. I, I raised my hand to every possibility, anything that came up, I was over, over, all over it. Okay. 
So that's, that's very important. It's very important because you're not in a position to say no. Okay, you're not in a position to say no. So you have to go for those opportunities and you have to chase them down. You have to chase them down. When I was starting out, I lived in San Francisco, but I would get people inquiring about property in Modesto and Patterson, you know, 90 miles away. All right. And I'd go and I'd meet them to show one property. Okay. You might, you might say that that's um, foolish. It's a waste of time or whatever, because, you know, you don't know for sure. And I did miss out on a lot of, you know, I took a chance. I went for it. Right. I went out, I drove out. I didn't know for sure if this person is going to track transact with me or not, but guess what? I, I took those chances and more often than not, those things led to something else. It either led to them doing a transaction with me, whether it led to them giving me a referral, whether it led to me learning, whether it led to me uh, learning more about the, the area or you know, ultimately submitting offers or getting a listing and putting the property on, uh, in contract and selling it. Okay, so that, that's starting out, you have to say yes to as many opportunities as possible. So here's, a, here's, a, here's another thing. Um, well, before I go to the, another thing, we want, for me, it was like, how do I level the playing field? How do I get in in front of all these super successful agents that have been in this particular market for 20 years, they've been doing listings, everybody knows them. The easiest way for me was to do it digitally. And it's not the easiest way for me, it should be the easiest way for anyone to do it digitally. Now I can be more visible than the most successful agent in a particular market. If they're not doing the things, which the majority of agents right now in this day and age, right now, today, 2019 or 2020, they're, they're not. A lot of people aren't taking advantage of the digital um, marketing. Like for example, YouTube. Like for example, the portals, realtor.com, Zillow, Trulia. For example, Google. Uh, for example, Facebook, social media, demographic targeting. We have a lot of opportunity in front of us and we could take advantage of it. So here's, a, here's another thing that I did very early on. And that was I found other successful service providers, other salespeople that, want my, that potentially want my business then I can provide them with opportunities to work with clients that I know. And whether or not I get anything from it, that, that's okay. Because the law of reciprocity, if I send listings, if I send uh, clients to someone, and if I send uh, opportunity to someone that's already a salesperson, they're naturally gonna wanna send me back opportunities as well. And that's exactly what happened. When I first moved to SF, I, uh, I had a relationship with an attorney prior to moving to SF. And this was a very, very great, nice, nice man. Just awesome, awesome guy. Uh, he was a little bit older. He worked in trusts and wills and probate. And, uh, and I had already had this relationship with him. And I thought this was a resource for me. This is someone that's got a huge, huge network in San Francisco, knows a ton of people. He's been, he, you know, he's done it for 20, 30, 40 years, probably like 40 years. He was very, very old, a lot older in age. But I really connected with him. And what I did was I, any chance that I got that I could give him an opportunity, I literally went out of my way. And I remember I would literally run to my email and I would send out an introductory email, any chance that I could to give this person business. And what happened in exchange? What happened in exchange, what happened as a result of that was I would suddenly get $2 million listing email from this attorney saying, Hey, no questions asked. I have this client. They're doing a will and a trust and a probate. It's uh, can you please go get me a valuation and list the property for me? And I mean, it was unbelievable the amount of business that I was able to obtain because of the relationship that I had just by giving this person opportunity. I became a lead source for this successful attorney. So we can all do that, right? Like we can all do that with our clients. Think outside the box. This is this is free. This is free. You just have to create those relationships and and reach out to people. So, you know, a lot of times you know, when people tell me like, oh, real estate's really difficult and it's hard and this, it is, but you have to be willing to put in the time and really have that like no tomorrow mentality, that sense of urgency, you know, get up every day and just 
put in the work. Like personally, I don't, I don't need any kind of goals. Okay. I don't, I really don't like, I mean, I have goals and I have certain things that I want to do, but I don't need a goal to get me up in the morning. Okay. Like if you, if you have, if you have a goal, if you need a goal to get you up in the morning, you, you need to really start thinking about what it is that's important. To you would, you really want to do this, right? Because if you, if you need something that gets you up in the morning, um, that's a, that necessarily is like a goal. Um, I think that's, I think that's a problem. I think for us, for me, it's like, uh, for many of us successful people, we get up in the morning because we know we have to get up in the morning, right? We know we have to get out there and do, do business. I have to, and I want to, and I want to win and I want to be successful. So those are two tips that I wanted to share, um, on how to, how to really make it, um, starting out, you know, is, uh, actually three. One is you, you know, um, get in front of people without any cost, just create, create relationships with other service providers in the area, probate attorneys, wills, trusts, uh, financial advisors, CPAs, who are people out there that potentially could work with your clients? Find those people, create those relationships and start sending them referrals. Very easy. Number two is, uh, get in there, get online, be digital mayor, like they say, right? Be the digital mayor. And, uh, a lot of easy ways to do that. Like I said, YouTube, the portals, uh, realtor.com, Zillow, Google, Facebook. Um, very, very easy. And then last, just have that, that urgency. There's no tomorrow. There's no tomorrow. Somebody makes an inquiry, call them now. Why, why wait? Don't put things off until later. We have this tendency to procrastinate, right? We don't, we don't want to like sometimes get up and go do it. Although we know we're supposed to do it. Like, I don't want to have that guilt. Let's not have that guilt at the end of the day. I want to be able to answer to myself knowing that I did all the right things so I, I can sleep good at night, knowing that I did everything that I could possibly do, knowing that I took every possible step to, be, to do what I'm supposed to do. So, you know, have the sense of urgency and, um, and just go for it and, and not be afraid, not be afraid to take chances and put yourself out there. So. You know, um, if you guys have any questions, if you guys have any thoughts, feedbacks, feedback, comments, I'm going to start doing these a little bit more often. I'd love to hear some, uh, some ideas from you guys. So, uh, so, so send them out. You know, this is my, this is actually my like first one. And I, and I kind of just did this on the fly, but, uh, if you, if I'd love to get some, some feedback from you guys, love to get some, some, uh, comments, questions. Um, I was supposed to go to Inman today. It didn't happen. Uh, I had some family emergency take place as I was getting on the plane. So I felt like uh, this is something I wanted to do for everyone because I didn't get to get out and, and share with you guys uh, uh, in New York. But, um, but I want to do this here today for you guys. So uh, really appreciate it, guys. Thanks to everyone who watched. Thanks to everyone who, who's been uh, following, following me and, and uh, you know, commenting on my posts and stuff like that. It really means a lot. So just uh, stay in touch. Reach out to me if you guys have any questions. Um, Feel free to connect and I'd love to talk with you all soon. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Take care. Have a good one.